Have you ever wondered how festivals choose their entertainment lineup? Or why your favorite artist isn't on it? We know you have. I can tell you, on behalf of all the festivals in the world, one reason could be you're the only one who likes them. You know that's the least likely reason because your partner also likes them. In this video, you're about to find out how festivals like ours work. I'm Daryl Woodard Jr., the 26th Executive Vice President for The Best Party Anywhere. I will share the inside scoop, how we choose bands, do we even listen to you, then we'll go over some nasty comments that people sometimes drop on us. We'll be dropping a video on our YouTube every Thursday. If you have questions you'd like for us to address, drop them in the comments below. Also, tell us what bands you'd like to see and hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when we do answer a question. I get it. You just want a reason to book your pass early. But, and it's a big but. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You want to know. Why haven't you gotten Jelly Roll yet? Oh wait, have you? Now, to get into the grit, the number one thing to remember, and surprisingly, some people find this hard to believe, festivals want to get artists that their fans want to show up to see, to see, to see. <laughs> yeah, think about that. The best way to do this is by asking. That's the very first thing we do in emails, in social posts. What's this? 179 comments. In blogs, 415 comments. Even in this video, who do you want to see? Put it in the comments below. It's clear you can bang a keyboard pretty hard when you want to. Some of you are in complete disbelief. Like, Na 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 na, jelly. Jelly what? I can't hear you. As tempting as that is, it doesn't benefit the fans or the festivals to book entertainment that nobody wants to see. Just look at the tally of artists that you've requested. Jelly Roll, Limp Biscuit, Falling in Reverse, Aerosmith, Pop Evil, Disturbed, Shinedown, Godsmack, Five Finger Death Punch, Volbeat, Kid Rock. When we tally up the top 25, the top 50, the top 100, half of the requested artists have performed at the chip. So yeah, we listen. The next thing we consider is the performer scared of bikers. You forgot to say please. How are they doing in other markets? Have they already performed in the area recently? Are they a good fit for rally goers? We've screwed this one up a few times. Will they get mad when a biker revs his engine in applause? Hello, Ice T. <laughs> Motorcycle, you gotta get your cue. How did they do last time they were here? Did people show up? Will they show up for them again? Will they perform at an outdoor festival? Some artists don't like it. Here's a big one. Are they a party band? Or are they better for meditating, lighting a few candles, and spending a long night in the bedroom? Other considerations are, are they on tour? Does their tour pass by the middle of nowhere, Sturgis, South Dakota? If they're not on tour, will they build a tour? If not, will they fly in for a one-off? Will they do so at a reasonable price so the promoter can make some money back and not lose his ass? Will they share the stage with the other artists that you've already have booked? Fight over who's going to be headliner? Or maybe they just refuse altogether. Did one of the giant corporations that now owns most of the festivals in the world buy up their entire tour 
blocking the independent promoters, the family festival. There's just the occasional risk. Booking a band that you think is a good fit that people will enjoy. That's where decisions get a little spicy. But shit, the world evolves. Speaking of evolving, let's talk about a complaint or two. Here's a biggie. The repeat artist complaint. A few people act like having artists return is unwarranted. It's a valid concern. You're right. You're right. It keeps the festival from being stale by getting new artists. Do you know what the number one way to stop artists from returning to the festival is? Stop requesting them. <laughs> Since the number one thing is asking who do you want to see, I resubmit Exhibit A. Look at the names on this list. Top requested bands, Kid Rock, Five Finger Death Punch, Godsmack, Shinedown. Do people want to see them come back? Clearly, most of them do. Kid Rock remains our number two requested artist. Look at how excited people get when we announce it. And Godsmack, and Shinedown and Leonard Skinner, all been here before. The biggest concerts we ever have, and they're all still at the top of the request list. That's because people do enjoy comfort music. It's timeless classics. Music that's become a tradition that we love, that comes with gobs of good memories already attached to it. We know the words. It's a nod to the past that created our future, that is now our present. But regarding new music, you're right. New music and new artists is important to the festival and to you. Do you know what it would be called if festivals didn't get new music? It'd be called dumb. <laughs> That's why we mix in new bands like Whiskey Myers, Blackberry Smoke, Falling in Rivers, Bad Wolves, the number one requested entertainer, Jelly Roll, bands that are pop culture TV like America's Got Talent, like Steel Panther. Bands that have never been to the rally before, like Limp Bizkit, Co Wetzel, and some bands that freak the boundaries a little. Snoop Dogg. Did people show up? Yeah, they did. For all of them. That's because the festival is about the party. Do you like to party? Real human connection. Creating friends and stories that make us smile and are worth adding to the story of our lives. That's how good parties roll. Good people, good music, common ground, and girls. <laughs> girls like girls at parties. Guys like girls at parties. A party without girls is a sausage party. <laughs> All of those considerations start from one simple question. So if you want to change the list of considerations, next time your favorite festival asks you, who do you want to see? Clamp those fingers down on the keyboard and answer the question. Eventually, you're going to see a couple of them. We really feel fortunate that you've trusted a legendary buffalo chip to put on a good party. See you at the party.